Do you use speed jig, mechanical jig, slow jig, using chiku lures, kaburas, land based, boat based, on a paddle board, whatever. Yeah, but what rod? Ah, oh, so confusing. Where do we even start with the amount of rods that are available today? Hi, Espresso here. Well, today we're here to help find out what best rod that suits you. First up, uh, Heinrich Utsorn. Heinrich, if you're watching, Last week, thanks for tagging and sharing. We want to support you with some gear, so we'll be sending that out. Thanks very much for your support. Look forward to sending it out to you and everyone else. Tag and share, because that's what we're on about. Tag and share your mates, especially the ones that might bring those broomstick or two yeah, along and try and catch the fish with them. So tag and share, and we might be just sending out some catch tackle for you to use next week as well. Right, so what rod do we use? There are too many available. There really are too many available. So. We've got to focus on the most important thing to make that choice. And the most important thing is the fish. The fish that we're targeting. Now we're out there targeting fish and this doesn't matter where you are, where you're going to catch the fish, the same guidelines, the same rules apply to uh, your lure fishing and choosing the rod. Okay, so you're heading out tomorrow, tomorrow morning, let's go fishing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go fishing tomorrow, so you're heading out. What rods are we going to take? You can decide that right here, right now, today. Look at your charts or just remember from last time. Because the most important thing you need to do is ask uh, what depth you're in. What depth of water? So how many metres of water are you going to be fishing in tomorrow? Is it about, say, 40 metres? You're going out near a 40 metre mark? Times it by two. It's the rule of two, what I call a rule of two. Times the metre depth you're in times two gives you the gram weight that your lures should be to be fishing that depth of water. So if you're in, say, 40 metres of water times two, you're going to be using a lot of 80 gram, 100 gram lures. So why are we going backwards? We're working back from the fish, the most important thing, through, and the most important thing to the fish is your lure, because that's the only thing they see, and that is all important to them. So the fish, the depth of water you're in, times two is the grams. So if we're going out 40 metres, 80 gram lure, we know roughly what lures we're going to be using. So we're going to be using the rule of two to determine what size jig or what size lure we're going to be using. Now rods used to be uh, heavy fiberglass, really good at hauling fish aboard because with an old fiberglass rod, what was happening is that you are feeding a fish bait of some kind and you've got the stretchy mono and really once you're hooked up it was a matter of a matter of bringing that fish to, to the boat and there was not a lot of rebound in your rods there was no action in them to make your lures come alive and that's important your lures, lures need to look alive the better your lure presentation simply the better your fish so lures uh, sorry rods of yesteryear your fiberglass rods really good at what they're meant for but with lure fishing your rod has an entirely different role because now, you notice I haven't even shown a rod yet, because now what your rod does is it works the lure and it makes the lure boom, just come alive, because that's what you're trying to do. You're having an inanimate object come alive, and that is done by how you work it with your rod. Your rod's primary function now is to work your lure and make that lure pop and come alive. And that's a big difference. So if you have the right rod matched to the right lure, you will catch a lot more fish and you'll catch a lot of the wily bigger fish. So the lure is everything to the fish. That's the only thing they see. So we're matching your lure weight to the rod that you're going to use. So let's, let's go on a quick trip. Quick trip tomorrow morning. Let's go fishing. Can't wait. Okay, so we're heading out in the shallows. First thing, we're either land base or we're just going out offshore, maybe to less than 20 metres. Now, in that depth of water, less than 20 metres, say we're in the 10 metre mark, around about 10 metres, times 2 is 20 grams. So the lures that you're going to be using are beautiful little lures like your little soft bait. That's a little smelt soft bait. And again, it's the size of the lure that we're talking about here. Because we're less than 20 metres, you're going to be using smaller lures, little soft baits, little micro jigs, little tungsten micro jigs, even your little stick baits, because we're inshore here, we could be getting targeting all sorts of species. So you've determined your lure weight by the depth of water. Now the rod. The rod is to work the lure. This is a soft bait rod. 
So mixed with the soft baits, but the important thing is written on the rod. Lure weight up to 80 grams. So this rod is going to work these lures perfectly and to their best potential to catch a fish. You imply, you um, impart the magic on the rod to make the action, but if you've got a rod with the correct lure weight, your lures are simply going to be more alive. They're going to work better and imitate a dead or dying fish even better and you'll catch a lot more fish. So your lure weight is on the rod. Now, so we're going out, we're still going out fishing. We caught a few fish in the shallows tomorrow morning. We're going to head out a bit further we're on a bigger boat now. Go out to, I don't know, 40 or 50 meter mark in those sort of depths, anywhere between 30 and 70 meters. So say we're in the 50 meter mark, bottom bouncing for a snapper and, and that type of fish. 50 meters times two, a rule of two. 50 meters times two is 100 grams. So your lures are going to be bigger lures. They're going to be something like these. It's the BDI, a squid wing, all around that 80 to 120, 150 grams. You're going to be using these lures a lot for the types of fish that you're going to be fishing in and around that depth. So what rod would you use this? In your typical snapper fishing out to about 50 or 60 meters, what rod? The rod is based on that lure weight. This one here is a Kensei, it's a spin, comes in all sorts of versions. I'm not spinist or overheadist, it's the lure weight that we're after. And on here, this Kensei is 80 to 150 grams. So this rod is going to work these lures to their maximum potential. This rod, the lighter rod, is going to work these lures to their maximum potential. All right, we're going out big, we're going out further. The wind's looking good to drop off in the afternoon. Let's go out into some deeper water, 100, 150, 200 meters deep after some big boys. So we've got to use heavier lures to get down into that depth, right? So we'll be using big toys, like your big two, three, four, five hundred gram jigs. That's a double trouble, your a deep Vs. This type of size of jig, your jokers, the big kingfish, big amberjack, that type of thing, down deep. Or your giant squid wings. Superb, but big lures. Now to work these big lures, no good using your soft bait. It'll complete, soft bait rod will completely overpower them. So will a fish once it hooks up. Big lures, you need to go for a bigger rod that does the business as well on a bigger fish. This is a, and, but it's the important thing, stage one is the lure weight. These lures, around the two to 500 grams. Your rod, lure weight, two to 400 grams plus. This rod will work these lures beautifully in the depth. It'll impart the motion that you need to make them come alive. Top end stuff, heavy duty things, but for your big jigs. So your rod is determined by your jig or your lure weight, which is determined mainly by the water depth that you're in. Really simple, and that's how I like to keep it. Nice and simple, straightforward, helping you to get the right rod for your lures. So if you've already got a whole heap of lures, check what you've been using. Now, since we've matched the lure to the, <laughs> to the rod, and we've been out for a trip, so we're going out for our shallows, mid-water, deep water, different sizes, there are other things to consider, sure, the type of fish and that type of thing, but this is your starting point, your absolute starting point for what rod that you should be using while you're lure fishing. It's determined by the lure, which is determined by the fish and what depth it's sitting in. So, quite simple and straightforward to choose the perfect rod. Now, Heinrich, I hope you uh, enjoy those lures that we're going to send out to you, those catch, that catch fishing tackle, and I uh, look forward to seeing the photos when you catch the fish as well. And to everyone else, tag and share your mates. Really help them out. Your rod is what imparts the magic, what makes these lures come alive. And that's how you catch the good fish, is making these lures come alive. If you've matched your lure to the rod, you're going to get a better action in your lures, that'll feel a lot better, and you'll catch a lot more fish. So now, it's really over to you. Go out and check your current rods. The rods that you've been using, does the lure weight match the lures that you're using? If they do, great. If not, your rod might actually be hindering what you're doing. So, questions about which rods, which lures, we're going to help you out. Doesn't matter where you're fishing, either myself or the pro team, I'll answer your questions the best we can. But how important is your rod? Very important because this allows you to impart the magic to cast your spell over the fish. The right rod, the right lure, your fishing just explodes exponentially. 
Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. Espresso out.